Is that... Mom? Are you the king for the Bahamutian Federation? Federation? How very quaint. Is that the tale Seguarides has been spreading? So be it. Then you have found me out, boy. I am king of the Bahamutian Federation. Randalis. He's the one. The villain behind it all. In the cage there. Is that loose, Farna? What did you do to our mom? Is that why you have come? What? Tell me why you have traveled all this way. You have our mom, right? Give her back! Yeah. Start by setting her free. Yeah! Naive fools. <laughs> Still? <laughs> I will play my part. This place. This guy. Why do they feel so hauntingly familiar? Rain! You have to snap that out of it and stay focused! <laughs> yeah, she's right. Since when are you the one to space out at a critical moment? Uh, uh, be quiet! I'm paying attention, okay? Good.
one? Honk, yeah! And here I thought that was gonna be hard. That was amazing! Think of all the people across the grimoire that you just saved from their plight. Yeah, but I bet those nutcases who sided with the Federation are gonna sweat. <sighs> oh, right. Rain, come on. We gotta bust Mom out. Oh, right. But how do we open it? You again? Activate it. Huh? Sorry? Only Mirage Keepers are permitted to use that mighty portal. The Ultima Gate. With the Ultima Gate, the power of the crystals becomes yours to control. Opening a mere cage would be no challenge at all. Bobby. I think I'm starting to remember. The portal, it started to shine. And then the cage appeared. Then that means this isn't your the first time seeing it. Yeah. It's hazy, but I've seen this gate before. Then you know what to do. Use it. Wait, who are you? Say, her sister? I didn't know you had an older the sister. Let's reminisce later. Save Lady Luce. So then, that really is our mom in the cage? Well, okay then. Let's hurry up and activate that Ultima Gate thingamajig and bust the cage open. R right. Prophecy has ended in crimson. <sighs> Mom! Uh -huh. Ridiculous piece of theater. 
but well done. I commend you all. You may dispense with the illusion now, Ewain. I share that sentiment. Should we do this again, you will keep your prophecy more concise. <laughs> but you cannot accuse me of excess. Every step was necessary to the plan. <laughs> Tell me, what of the soul crystal? How much of the populace have we harvested? If I had to offer up a guess, then just about four souls in every ten. Is that all? After a whole century? I have been selected. And discreet. With Champions Awakening again, we're lucky to have pulled off such a feat. not heard that name in some time. Were we acquainted in those ages past? If so, she would have served our enemy. Huh. Then you know what comes next. We shall finally bring the Kagna into this world.
I'm here. Sorry I'm late. Tatus! Tatus! <laughs> the champions have rallied here to try and intervene before things go awry. Too late. The Cogna have passed through the portal. The fateful arrow has been loosed. Rejoice for the end of an A world? No! The beginning of something greater is now upon us. Couldn't have timed that better. I hate gravity. It's a good thing I actually caught you. Whoa, the lass and glasses. Hey, we meet again. Wait, what did you call me? Oh, uh, Captain Ferris called you that once. I think he's just mimicking her. Yep. Who asked that pirate? Anyway, we never did get to thank you. You were so helpful when we... Well, I don't want to sound ungrateful. Your fast craft did get us to the low seas, but now whenever I hear rushing water, I remember what it was like almost dying, and yeah, you really scarred me for life. Oh, oh yeah? Well, why don't you tell me about it inside? Get out! Does the whole building float? This place is chocobacious! Amazed me the first time I saw it, too. This is it. Home base for the League of S. Balam Garden.
know that you two have been through a lot recently, but why don't we start out by sharing our intel? Everyone's on deck, except the injured. This way. Oh, yeah. Do you know how Alwyn is doing? She's sound asleep, down in the infirmary. I talked to Dr. Katawaki. Her diagnosis is that Alwyn is suffering from severe exhaustion. That's too bad. What about Yuna? And the summoners? Same thing. They were forced to use their powers against their will. It took a lot out of them. Same goes for Titus. He won't wake up. Titus, is he okay? He took a beating, but they say he's gonna pull through. You know, he's pretty tough for a scrawny guy. In fact, Titus might be the only reason we were able to get to the summoners in time. You know that winged knight? I found Titus fighting her. He told me about the summoners, so we went to go save them. Right. And once me and Squall got word. You all showed up to bail us out, huh? It's a really good thing you did. Now you can help us fill in the blanks. Bahamut, did you figure out who they really are? And those weird mirages he called Cogna? What did you two kids do back there? Oh, uh, it's funny you should ask. We don't know what happened either. But what little we do know, we'll tell you. Wow. Then I guess the only one with answers is your sister, Alan. Excuse the interruption. I have new intel from our liaisons across Grimoire. Oh! Shulk! What's the story? You should have a look at this. What... happened? Well, those new mirages called Cogna have been taking over wherever they show up. For the most part, at least. For the most part? What do you mean? Our reports say that towns belonging to the Federation were assimilated right away. But the places that have been resisting Federation rule have managed to keep the Cogna out so far. However, other threats have arisen. What? There have also been multiple sightings of the Dyad Servants. Sorry, who are the Dyad Servants? A century ago, the demon Dyad plunged Grimoire into an era of chaos. The Dyad Servants were mirages that carried out most of the Dyad's dirty work, right? So you're saying the servants are back after a hundred years? That appears to be the case. The Cogna have given them a chance to begin their reign of terror all over again. Hey, Vaughn. I think that we saw them. One came out of the crater where we fought the bomb. Another flew out from underneath Figaro Castle. Huh? W what exactly are you getting at? Are you saying we caused that too? We might have set them loose by accident. Dude, no! I'll say this, we need to take action now. The League, we'll get to work with our agents on the ground. At any rate, it might be a while before Alwyn wakes up. Why don't you guys get some rest? If she's really your sister, make sure you talk things out. Extra eye drops you can spare. I can re.
Sorry, guys. I need to get back to the control room and handle this mess. Look, I realize that you two are probably trustworthy. But the League does have its rules. Until you get clearance, restricted areas like the infirmary are off-limits. If you want to explore, keep it to here in the lobby. Okay? Catch up later. Uh, so basically, she doesn't trust us at all. Well, we can't blame her. Okay, so what do we do now? I'm worried about all our friends. We really do need to talk to Tama. Yeah, that's for sure. I keep calling her, but she just doesn't show up. I don't think she plans to leave Ninewood Hills. Come on, why don't we go see if we can cheer her up? My goodness, what's with these especially long faces? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Seraphie, could you go get Tama for us? You want Tama? Funny you ask. She's been floating around like a terrified marshmallow ever since she got back. Let the pretty pixie handle this. Hey, Tama. Huh? Tama? Tommy Tom, answer me. Oh, how dare you ignore me, you puny fluff butt! I am going to wash! You're so good! I brought Tama like you asked. Oh, Seraphie. One the day, I will destroy you! Tama, can we talk? We just really, really need to know what happened. <sighs> Thanks for the reminding me! This is no time to go the Gaga! Those Cogna the Knights summoned are seriously bad the news! Cogna? No way! Yes, the way! And we have to the stop them! Uh, time out. Before we go any further, Tama, what's a Cogna? They're horrible bad! Completely beyond the description! Well, uh, maybe you should try anyway? The Cogna are living machines that thrive on destruction. They have laid more worlds to waste than there are stars in the sky. And that's not a poetic exaggeration. What? But that's nuts! They're almost like a disease. It's not that they're all strong, it's that they never the stop growing in number. Once they manage to invade a world, no one can stop them the ever, not even in a crow herself. Then what about the knights? Are they like Cogna Masters or something? Something the elves. They call themselves the X9 Knights. They're a horrible order who the wander from the world to world and leave chaos in their way. Which leads to the question why, I suppose. But, if they were the Order of the Circle, then I think I know the why. Whoa! Did you say the Order of the Circle? 
I'm afraid this is so. Bad news? Me and the Serapy have a history with them that goes back more years than I know how to the count. There are arch, 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 arch nemeses, to put it politely. Bummer. So that's who is pulling the strings. But that means they won't rest until... Until the every last world is destroyed. They're filled to the gills with ill the will. I'm still not sure I get it. But basically you're saying grimoires in hot water. Is that the idea? The water's so hot it's almost the steaming! And if you think it will end with just the grimoire, then you've got another thing to coming! Is Ninewood Hills in danger too? That wouldn't even be the tip of the iceberg. Oh no. No, no, no. We're not talking just one or two of the worlds. You see, we're the part of a whole Googleplex of worlds. A Googleplex? What is that? Like a thousand? Dude! Actually, a Googleplex is ten. To the tenth, to the hundredth power. A million worlds? We can work on your math skills some other time. I need to get one thing straight. The reason those things got into Grimoire? It's our fault, isn't it? Huh? Um, the maybe, I think, yes. So, basically, we've put Grimoire and other worlds in terrible danger. No. No, that can't be true. It is. We messed up. Those guys in the armor, they used us. They invented a false prophecy and tricked us into opening the Ultima Gate. Mom was just the bait. Would you cut it out? No way, dude. Hey, hang on. Anna Crow is the one who said to collect mirages to find our family. If she hadn't let us on, then... Maybe... She's... One of them. No way! Absent the positively no way! Huh? Oh, well, yeah, after all, Anna Crow would never ever lie. All right, then. I guess I'll let it go. <sighs> So, like, why'd they pick us? How come we were even able to do something like that? I was the hoping you would know. Um, if you're going to ask the someone, you should ask your big sister. You might be right. Let's return to Balam Garden and go talk to Alwyn. <sighs> Lon? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess she might be awake. Hey there, Alwyn. Tell me one thing. Your past. Do you remember any of it? No. Not really. Afraid not. Right. Of course. If you did remember, there's no way you would be talking to me. But... I do remember you're my sister, Wynne. She does. But I don't. So then. What will you do to me this time? Do to you? But when those knights were holding you prisoner? Stop. Huh? I don't know you anymore, so don't call me that. But when? Enough. 
Okay. I was a prisoner for a very long time. But it wasn't the Knights. Well, who then? You ought to know. And why should I bother to help you? Figure out the obvious. You have to remember. For Lady Luce. Our mom? Is she here? Is she still alive? Yes. They're here. Lady Luce and Lord Rorik. Rorik? <gasps> Her dad? Then mom and dad are both okay? Where are they? But you know that too. Where they are. What they're doing. We do? Are you sure? Alwyn, are you one of the bad guys? Me? One of them? You must be joking! But... you went around in a mask, tricking us. <sighs> Enough. Say no more. I just don't want to hear it. <gasps> Siren! You bring nothing to this world but pain and chaos. Leave now. Go back home and never wake from your sleep again. Your mother and father. I'll save them. Uh, gosh, bomb it. What the honk is her problem? She didn't tell us anything. No, but you heard what she said about mom and dad. They need to be saved. Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess she did. Okay, but what do they need saving from? I don't know. Hey! What's going on? Did you see that mirage? Where's Alan? <sighs> that explains what happened. But then, what are you two going to do now? I'm not sure. I know, this may sound a little selfish, but... If you don't mind, maybe you could help us fight off the Cogna that have appeared across Grimmoor. We need more manpower. As much as we can get. Sure. Huh? Whether we were tricked or not, we're still the ones who brought them here. We have to fix this. As long as we have the power to do it. Yeah, you're right. Besides... <sighs> helping the League out with operations means... Gathering mirages and getting stronger. If Seraphie and Tom are right, and we can trust what Enacro told us, then we ought to keep going. Let's collect mirages and find our family. <sighs> yeah. Great. Okay then, the airship. We'll let you borrow it. The skies are yours. Go on out there and help wherever you can. It's good that we're helping the League out, but remember, we need to round up more mirages. Tama, these Cogna things, can you tell us more about them? They look powerful. Like mirages, some of the Cogna are strong and some not so the much. Then again, the tough ones are really the really the tough. In fact, some of the Cogna have such powerful defenses that regular attacks that won't even leave a scratch on them. Dude, what? How are we supposed to stop them, then? Remember, we're not the only ones out there fighting. There's Cloud, Squall, Lightning. We're all gonna have to learn to help each other out. Right. Good point. Chapter 21 Chaos in Grimoire Okay, so where are we supposed to start? Well, if we can track down Cloud, Squall, and Lightning, they could probably use a little help with the Cogna. 
Right, but where are they? Oh, we need more intel! Oh, for that the kind of stuff, you should definitely consult with Seraphie. Hang on while I go in to get her! Yeah, hi. So I suppose you're gonna make me break out the old rumor radar for you. Rumor radar? Oh, that's my secret power, hun. It lets me instantly snap up every bit of gossip within my threshold. In a teensy world like this, that basically only amounts to everything. Whoa, now that's cool! Huh? Is it cool? Well, I'm no expert, but I'd say it is. Woohoo! I thought I'd never be one of those cool pixies. Well, you'd be the cooler if you picked up facts instead of rumors. Thanks for that reminder. Uh, well, so do you mind trying it? Yeah, sure. I guess I'll start us out by narrowing down the search to those Cogna we're after. Sound good? Here's the latest. There you have it. 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 Here's the latest. So, like, things are basically terrible everywhere? That's a problem. We can't be in all of those places at once. Time! I command you to stop! Okay, can we just build a time machine or something? Inside Ninewood Hills, you do realize that time is essentially stopped? Oh! Wait! That girl behind the door in Ninewood Hills! Couldn't she help us reach everyone? Huh? You're right! Inside her room, we can skip around to any point in time that we want! To board the airship, all you have to do is press the button shown on the world map! Sid, have you found a pattern yet? Where's the phantom train? Hmm, still no luck, I fear. It gives new meaning to random, I can tell you that much. <sighs> well, if you can't track it, we'll have to give up for now. A train that traverses the real and unreal, just our luck. And it only shows itself when it's ready to attack. Not an honorable mirage, is it? If only we had documentation of how these mirage trains work, even just some blueprints would do. That's it! That's what, Rain? We already know someone who runs a mirage train! Um... Oh! Cactus Guy! That's right! The time to exact my revenge has finally arrived! Cat 
Tuart. Your sass is grass. <laughs> you certainly are fired up today, now, aren't you, my little giant girl? Um, Rain, I know you're excited about this, but can I cut in? Sure. Be my guest. Conductor, if my sister beats you, how about you promise to give us the blueprints to your train? Deal? Oh, we're on. But that's a big if you're talking about. Here I come! Ha! Ah, bring it! So will you touch? Circumstances. I'm going to need both their help. Hey, your tickets, please. Guess who's come to rescue you, Koopa? And I knew that you would, my old friends. So let's hear it. What's wrong, Ton Dog? Oh, hmm? Did I just hear you refer to me as Ton Dog? What's the scent rep, Koopa? Tony Poo? Wait, what is this? Since when have you called me such ghastly names? Since when, he says. Listen to you! We just started now! Don't you know? The best of friends always give each other fun nicknames, Koopo. That's what we are, Koopo. Ton, bro. Now hold on. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, let's say I called you two. Cat Toodle. Mookie pie. Can you imagine it? You'd die of shame. Not at all, Ton Buddy. I love it, Kubo. Ton Chops. Ah, you win. Call me whatever you want. As long as they're not the kind of nickname that you have to squeak. Oh, what a pickle. So this Colosseum, which hides within a strange and mysterious mist that can connect it to whole other worlds... ...was suddenly struck by an unexpected and chaotic phenomenon that caused a bunch of mirages to run amok. Right, Koopa? <sighs> Thank you for the exposition. So now that you know the problem, I would very much appreciate your assistance. Cat 
Toodle. Monkey pie. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Count me in! Everything's going to be peachy keen! Darn tootin', Koopa! Friends stick together, Koopa! Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. Get ready. You know, is it just me? Or are these mirages running away from something? So they're not just acting up, Koopa? Hmm, you're right. I get the distinct impression that we're getting in their way more than vice versa. Our mirage opponents have been getting steadily stronger. <sighs> <sighs> I know I'm tough, but even I'm starting to feel the burn here. Hot dang! Oh! Let's stack, Koopo! Stack what? Us, Koopo! I mean, if those twin goobers can do it, we can too, Koopo! You're right! They do get a lot stronger when they stack now, don't they? Hmm. So how do we decide the order? First, we have to pick a leader, Koopo! How about we do rock, paper, scissors for it, Koopo? Me and the captain do it all the time, Koopo. Are you sure? Rock, paper, Koopo! Guys, how are we supposed to figure out who won? Good point. Our hands aren't made for this. Yippee, Koopo! Log takes the prize, Koopo! Huh? Huh? So with that settled, your new leader will assign the positions, Koopo. Oh. All right. Okay, here we Koopo! I must say, my head's getting kind of itchy. I can't move. Why, you? <laughs> uh, how does Master expect this to help me train? Wait, is that a human? Summer Salt! <laughs> hmm, now we know what got into the mirages. A young lady is a bona fide public menace! Yes, I would agree. Okay, then we have to stop her, Koopo! I'll take you all on! Let's do this! Maybe our strikes! Uh, she's too powerful! Oh, hey, I have an idea, Koopo! Whisper, whisper. Whisper, whisper. Right then, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, it's on. Come on, try and get me. I'm talking to you, fighter girl. Huh? Not you again. Beat it, Kaktor. Zip! Huh? I missed? Ah, ha, ha, ha! You think you know how to train? I am a train. I mean, I run one. Let's go! Neener, neener, neener! I'm right here! <laughs> Guess who? Tonberry in the house. Poke. Uh, uh, hey! That didn't feel good! Now, friends! Solid time! Mogwimmy! Kubo! <laughs> uh. 
We did it! K.O. <sighs> I think we had better send this young lady back to Grimoire. Seems to me that the three of us make one dashing duo, Kubo. Indeed. Uh, 